Today I will show you how to make this crazy shadow roto brush transformation effect. Yo, it's Povikus here and today I'll show you how to make this effect that I've been experimenting with. I've actually wanted to make this effect for a long time but I just didn't know really how to make it. But I just worked in After Effects and I figured it out. Oh yeah, and also guys, if you're new to the channel, my name is Povikas and I've been a video editor for over 7 years now. And I also have a top tier video editing website called povikas.com where I have my insane video editing presets which I have crafted for video editors just like yourself. These presets help me edit way faster and have absolutely crazy visuals in my edits so I would 100% recommend to check them out and if you are interested I will leave a link down for them in the description. But anyways let's get into the tutorial. Alright guys so here I have a simple clip of Laser Tim from his Mario Coins music video and what I've done with these clips is I have made two layers one layer is just laser dim roto brush like this it's just a character masked out if you don't know how to roto brush then you should check out tutorials it's very easy to roto brush you just have to use this tool and just paint over your character and once you're done roto brushing you can start doing this effect so on your roto brush layer the first thing you need to do is add an effect called s odd spots uh, which does require the sapphire plugin and this effect is a really important effect for this tutorial so you should definitely have the sapphire plugin and at the start let's make the threshold to zero and keyframe the threshold at zero and also the blur input because we're going to also make it blurrier. I'm actually going to start this transformation from this point but you can start it from maybe even from the start and the transformation is going to end right here. All right and now we can add camera lens blur. This is another important effect and here we, let's just make the blur radius to zero and keyframe the blur radius at zero. And the last effect I'll add here is liquify and with that let's just keyframe the percent percentage right here and make it to zero and now let's press u and here we go we will see all of the keyframes we just made the s hotspots camera lens blur liquify and we can go to the ending and at the ending we can make the liquify to 100 percent oh i accidentally made it to 200 uh 100 you can actually put it to the absolute ending frame and it's also very important that we still keep seeing this liquify tool as you can see this bubble that i'm messing around with right now and with this bubble what we need to do is to start drawing spikes so i'm going to draw like a spike right here like i'm just going to do it on the character so my character here is just laser dim so i'm just going to draw a spike maybe there i'm going to draw a spike right there and i'm going to just you just have to like use your mouse and just draw you don't need to make these spikes like very huge they can just be like this size do like some random spikes okay so these are the random spikes i kind of did i don't know what you guys think of that and what this is pretty much going to do is at the start when the liquefier is at zero there's going to be no spikes and then when it goes to 100 the spikes are going to like come in like that and what we can actually do so we can select these keyframes of liquify and press f9 and go to the graph editor and i like to make the graph editor like i like to take this keyframe and i like to put it somewhere like there and i like to take this and extend it out like this yeah something like this like a graph like this is going to look really really cool it's going to like extend out these crazy points now let's get out of there and now let's go to the middle in between these keyframes right here so probably right here and what we can do is make the s hotspots blur and put the five and the threshold to 0 0.57 and the camera lens blur to 14 and as you can see now it's completely dark like a shadow and our effect already looks like this which is actually pretty cool but we can make it look so much cooler as you saw in the intro so what we can do is on top of the roto brush we can press ctrl y and this will add a new adjustment layer and on this adjustment layer let's add some banger effects so the first effect i'll add is as flicker to add some flicker i'm just gonna make the amplitude here to like something like 0. 52 and i'll also add s jpeg damage and at the start i'll make the quality to one and i'll keep him the quality and i also like to add add grain which is a kind of silly name i like to make the viewing mode to final output and at the start i like to make the intensity to zero and keyframe it and that's just going to add some grain as the name suggests and let's add also cc vignette which is going to give these kind of dark edges but at the start i'll still like to make it to zero at the amount and i like to keyframe it and let's also add fast box Explore, and I like to make it to free. It's pretty much to damage the look a bit, but I also like that unsharp mask to undamage it a bit more. It's kind of hard to explain, but 
but you'll see what I mean. I like to make it here to like 5.9 and the amount to 132. And I also like that U saturation. And I'll just keyframe at the start to just this to nothing. I'll, I'll change nothing at the start. And I'll also add posterize time. So we will be able to slow everything down and make it look kind of like grungy, just a lower frame rate. And at the start, I'll make the frame rate to 24. But now I'm gonna press U to see all of the keyframes made. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, four maybe frames forward somewhere like there and I'll make the poster as time two times smaller than I have so my frame rate that I, I am working on is 24 fps so I'll make it to 12 which is as you can probably count two times smaller than 24 and now let's just go to the complete ending right here and here I like to make the master saturation to minus 75 to desaturate everything but the master lightness to 7 now if you want to see what that does it pretty much like as you can see before and after it just desaturates everything oh well, actually another thing you could have done is not made the posterized time two times smaller but actually let's make it three times smaller so i'm just gonna make it to eight yeah i just remember that that might actually look even better here so that is three times smaller than my frame rate uh here i also like to make the cc vignette amount higher like 152 which that is really cool and also let's make the add grain to four which is going to add a lot of grain as you can see and the last thing i like to change is the s shape like damage to 0.1 to damage the look now, one thing I do like to do is go to CC Vignette Amount Keyframes, press F9, and go to the Graph Editor. And here, I just like to make the graph something like this. And another thing you should probably do, if you want, by the way, it's not going to be a huge difference, but I like to actually render this out in half quality, not in full, which full is also pretty cool for this, but uh, half is just going to look a bit better. But if you don't want, you don't need to. And this is how it's going to look right now. As you can see, that is absolutely crazy just such a cool little transformation and if you want to like mess around a lot with this like you can select everything we just made press ctrl c and press ctrl v to duplicate everything and now right click go to pre-compose and just call this pre comp and press ok and uh, now we can just move this a bit further so this way you can add effects on top of everything here as well so like i sometimes like that as to start rgb and make the amount at the start to zero and keyframe it and go to the ending and make the amount to 0 0.08 and it's going to look like that and you can make the blur lines a bit higher so that's going to have a pretty cool effect just like that and this is what i pretty much did for the intro of the video as you can see i just had one frame by the way from this video so i just used one last frame so what you can do is you can press ctrl shift d right click go to time and freeze frame it and then you can extend it to however long you want it and what you can do here is you you can uh, press U, you'll see all of this to start RGB keyframes. You can select them and put them further away. And it's going to look like this. I also like that transform. I like to make the scale at 100. And to the ending, I like to make it so it scales up a little bit. So it's going to look like that. So here you can add as hotspots. And at the start, make the threshold to zero. And at the ending, make it to 0 0.7. And it's going to go in like that. As you can see, that is pretty cool. You could add liquify and just draw these points out even more further like this and make the distortion percentage at zero at the start and go to the ending and make it to 100 here so it's going to look like a really cool little animation i guess oh yeah you can also press s here and make the scale like higher to something like 144 it's gonna look like that yeah that's pretty much how you make this crazy roto brush effect uh tell me what you guys think about this this is kind of like an experimental video and if you guys want more crazy experimental videos then let me know and also i definitely recommend to check out my video editing website called called povikas.com if you want some premium video editing presets. But anyways, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.